what's up you guys welcome to another video i know we left you guys hanging last video on the house so before we get into the new home let me first insert some clips on what took place before we actually move into our new home oh you guys it is getting real it is it is getting real today is march 13th our cars leave us our cars are going to ohio before us once we get there we don't want to be stranded you know we'd rather be stranded here once we end up getting to ohio our cars should already be there waiting on us but today sgt auto transport is coming to pick up our cars so right now jeremy is putting like the necessities in our car so that way we'll have like what we need for instance like gia's high chair or at least one of her high chairs because we have two the girls eating trays because we won't have any furniture won't have anything at the house for like a good maybe six days even maybe even longer so i put my steam mop because once we get there we want to clean the house so right now he's trying to hurry up because sgt is going to be here any second to take our cars away we were either between just driving our cars there which would be 30 plus hours or having our cars just dealt with for us so we chose that option and i'm very happy about it we don't have to worry about that we'll fly out and it'll just be nice so i'm gonna start getting a little bit more things as many things as we can fit in our cars as possible i feel nervous i feel i feel a lot of emotions you guys because it's i just feel like this it's happening you know you know when you know something is gonna happen but you can't envision how like i still can't even like picture us being in Ohio living there and you know it's kind of crazy I even put my cast iron skillet I want to have the option to at least cook something you know one of our vacuums in here Kirkland toilet paper we really did not want to just roll up to an empty house and have absolutely nothing and then some diapers So that headache is gone for now, man. It's been stressful, bro. Like trying to get everything it's lined been up. Coordinating so much. It's been a lot, bro. But whew, I can take a, I can take a breath. So we all locked in, y'all. Feeling like a real bum. I got no car. I got no job. <laughs> I'm back to 14 years old. <laughs> Yo, so today's moving day, man. The trailer got here around 11:30. The mover showed up at uh, 12. We're almost three hours in, and I mean, they're moving pretty fast. Got family coming through today. Shadi's grandma's here. a lot of moving there was just so much to do at home and then we ran into a lot of trouble in the moving process as we were on our way to Columbus after everything took place it was crazy and I'm so glad we are past it now you see oh snap I thought I did <laughs> Beautiful Columbus Airport. My mind's not operating. No traffic, man. Look at this. I do, Any I can hop out of and walk on them right now. I need to get somewhat situated. We haven't brushed our teeth. We haven't. You know what I mean? Why isn't it tightening? Where's your thing at? Oh gosh. I'm just ready to enjoy my new life. That's really all I desire right now. Before me and Jeremy hopped on this camera, we were just talking about the craziness of the last, specifically couple days. Not even couple, yesterday was just crazy. Days leading up to it were crazy just because we were busy and packing and- Hanging out with friends. Yeah, trying to see people and you know, life still goes on. We still got things to do outside of this move. So it's just been sure go, go, go. And yesterday was like the official moving day, right? Like packing up everything into the trailer. And we got a pretty big trailer. What was the size? 28? 28 foot footer. 
A 28 footer. It's bigger than than um, than the U-Hauls. Yeah, I mean it's a really big truck, but we have accumulated so many things. And, and I'm like when I say so many things I'm not saying like junk like we have a lot of valuable things just over the last few years and then I mean we have a over 2,000 square foot house with four bedrooms a loft a backyard a garage a with gym equipment like we just had so many things and I think we all underestimated hmm Sid are you tight in? Hmm? She's tied in more than she was before. Um, we just, I feel like we all underestimated what was going to be able to fit into that truck. Some people even thought we were going to have a lot of extra space. But turns out, we maxed out that trailer so quick. It was like, it was so stressful because we probably had a good, maybe 10 inches left. <laughs> of space I mean, when what? we still had we still had like some gym equipment we still had a 75 inch TV we still had like my faux trees all of my indoor plants my smoker my my grill yeah Jeremy smoker bro. his like just so many things that were just so valuable and things that I had just recently purchased um, things that like I know I will never ever find because there were like some thrift finds like thrift furniture but long story short we we had to leave so many things behind so many things like we didn't take any of our patio furniture um, Nothing our the heat lamps like we didn't take so many things you guys and it was like and I'm not somebody who like holds on to um, material things or like have a hard time letting things go because I'm I will declutter and throw away things like nobody's business but like I said we have so many things that are just valuable that we've accumulated over time whether it's from a brand deal or, or a brand collaboration or us just wanting to make a big purchase for something or whatever and a lot of those things did not go in like Jeremy smoker like when he told me he's not gonna be able to take the smoker like I shed a tear for him because one, I know he loves smoking ribs, and two, I love eating them. And so, and <laughs> but see, like, and, and, and my point of view is that like when I when I do my research, I do my research, and I already had another company that I was like doing business with, and we're going back and forth, and you know, actually two other business, uh, companies. So we decided to go with UPAC, where you know you pack the trailer yourself. So I hired um, some movers. And I started off with only two movers at first because that's what they said. Oh, you know, two movers. But then I was, you know, again doing my research online, and they're like, "Hey, once you get, you know, at least three, that way, one person's always doing something, right, or whatever." All right, cool. So we did three. Thank God we did three because if we if we did two, I mean, it would have been a disaster, even more so. For me, when they first came out, I'm thinking like, "Oh, it's gonna take them like three hours," which three hours turned into seven and a half hours. Um, you know, so it's just a lot of stuff that was just going on, and like she said, like so much stuff that didn't get packed and I mean these guys were packing it bro like they had walls of like stuff and shrink wrap I, I mean thing was, everything was like packed to the top to the bottom to the side there's stuff in there as we're going like they packed it well and it just we just needed more space man yeah. but this is what hurt more than anything and this is what we were just talking about because we didn't realize how bad it was going to be until it was too late and there were so many things that I had already had in my mind that I wanted to replace and get new like I wanted to get a new bed frame we had we've had our king size bed frame since probably a year or two into our marriage and we've been married for 10 years so it's like it's old it's still functional it still works but I just wanted something new and something different yeah. so I had already had in my mind that I wanted a new bed frame that made it into the truck very very early my desk, I've been wanting a new desk because I got some cheap little Target desk a long time ago, or well, a few years ago, and I want a new desk. So it was like all these things made it into the truck early that I would have like kicked to the curb, no problem, had no problem giving it away for free, whatever. But it's like that stuff made it in and it was already in and there was no way they were taking out all these things just to get to the things that we didn't care about. So it's like, 
I just wish we would have been way more like mindful of what went in first because we wouldn't have had such a hard time like we were we were pacing back and forth like deciding between what we really really like and what we really like <laughs> and, and, I, and that's the thing because i was out there i was out there moving with them you know what i'm saying like i'm trying to make it as quick as possible as cheap as possible so i'm bringing stuff down i'm you know what i'm saying i'm getting everything lined up and i mean just the way they were talking we, they made it seem like we had enough we're gonna have enough room <laughs> but i mean we had we had a lot of stuff our weight bench you know two weight benches that takes up space obviously they can stack on yeah and one we just got yeah so it's like we had two weight benches and then it's like we have a treadmill we have a, a rower um, we have a squat rack that folds up, but I mean that's a nice wide, you know, space. Mm. Um, Hold on, can I stop you? I'm sorry, off topic. Look at how beautiful the trees are already looking. I know. Like we are really <coughs> like <coughs> welcoming spring right now because we were just here, what a few weeks ago, a month ago maybe, and these trees did not have any sorts of bloom. Just cut me off for some goddamn. I'm trees. sorry, like <laughs> it looks so pretty. Baby, where's your shoe off? But um, anyways, like I was saying, man, it was just that everything was like, just so full, and but you know, there's a lot of trash that we have to get rid of now. I don't have no car to go take it, so I have to use my mom's car. Uh, I still have to patch up holes in the wall. I had to, still had to paint stuff. I still had to take down my cameras, and then uh, you know, everything was all said and done with nighttime. I mean, it's like one o'clock in the morning. I'm outside trying to take my cameras down, and certain screws I didn't have to even take my cameras down because it was already on the trailer. So I pretty much left all my cameras. Um, if you guys want to know what the icing on the cake was. It was icing on the cake. That our, sh our ride for our oh. airport was... Okay, okay, tell daddy baby he's it's going off. from Hot cheese. So icing on the cake. Look at, see, look at the trees over there. Um, so the icing on the cake was that we had a ride scheduled to get us at 2 30 in the morning right i lay my head down at 1 30 in the morning so i pretty much was hoping to get a good maybe 45 minutes jeremy comes in walks uh wakes me up I didn't go to sleep yeah jeremy didn't go to sleep um but he comes in and wakes me up like abruptly like it actually really really scared me but he came woke us up saying um the our ride is here to take us to the airport but they didn't bring any car seats. We got three Bro, kids. What? No freaking car seats? The whole purpose of me even having a, a delivery driver service was because we needed car seats. And that was like my way of like not having to pack a car seat, not having to do X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? It was not like, having to travel You with feel it. me? Like none of that stuff. Like I'm trying to make this as smooth, as simple as possible. And I called them and I talked to them multiple times. And when I called and set everything up, I told them that we had three kids and I needed two toddler seats and a, and a infant seat. Like, are you, are you serious right now? Like, I, I clearly see there's no car seats in the car, but I'm still questioning them. Like, bro, are you serious right now? And yeah, sure enough, he's like, oh, you know, he's like, I can go back to my house. He's like, I don't have three car seats. He's like, I have I have two toddler seats and a, and a, um, and a, and a regular like car you know car seat infant seat yeah like two booster seats yeah two boosters which i mean you know technically they shouldn't be in boosters yet either but um it was like bro, like bro yeah, it's I was two in the upset. morning man like we i, gotta, I gotta go about that but uh yeah so it was just a bad situation man like no car seats had to go to his house and get the car seats shanice feels some type of way she thinks we're gonna get kidnapped because it just seemed like a bad situation. And, I, yeah. I watch a lot of stuff and I would just feel like somebody was going to take us to a house at some unknown location. They was going to shoot Jeremy and turn me and the girls into some freaking workers. Yeah. <laughs> but we ended up going to Columbus. We didn't close escrow on our old house yet, which meant we weren't able to close on our new house. So we stayed in the hotel about six days. We had only expected to be there two days, but things got delayed because the house didn't close. It was just... So we had just ended up spending a lot more money than we anticipated on just trying to rest our heads somewhere. Yo, our cars have arrived, man. SGT Auto Transport brought it early, too. They wasn't supposed to be here until tomorrow. Look at my baby back there. My white Durango chilling. My Fusion in the house. Man, shout out to SGT Auto Transport for providing the service for us. Check my boy out, man. Skills. Flip up my rug with your foot. 
As you see, we're still stuck in this room. We are <laughs> hotel living right now with, what, four or three kids? How many kids they got? We need our space. I need my space. We actually gonna get ready to head out right now, go to Walmart, go buy some things. We just got access to the house. Um, we were supposed to have access a long time ago. Today's Friday. We were supposed to have, initially had access like Monday or Tuesday, but everything got pushed back, so. <laughs> but. You know, a big stressor off, off the shoulders, you know what I'm saying? So here is us cleaning. We did so much cleaning just trying to remove the millions of ladybugs that were in the house. Like, I promise you, there were so many ladybugs all over. The ladybugs were a real problem, and they kept coming in around the door frames, like the outdoor, you know, the exterior door frames, the windows, and so we just realized that we had a lot of patching up to do, so that's when we went to Lowe's, shopped around for some things. Jeremy got a new tool. We were just, we were just kind of on the go, still on California time, so we've been waking up extremely late. We've been waking up like at 10 and 11 o'clock a.m. and staying up all hours of the night, the girls as well. It's just been a crazy adjustment. We have not quite adjusted yet, but we're we're trying <laughs> and i just know we're just so eager to do so much that we don't even want to sleep it's like sleep is kind of in the way right now that's what took place we're finally in the house and let me show you guys how everything looks welcome to our new home you filthy animals so this is gonna be a quick little tour because we got stuff to do this house is a, a 70s house and we plan on doing a lot of renovations, a lot of upgrading because there's a lot of things that are very dated, like this door. So this is the front door. Definitely want to put some door with like a window or just like some sort of glass. I don't even know what they're called. Um, some sort of glass door to bring in some, some natural light. Here's the staircasing. Everything is a natural wood, which I love, but we're definitely gonna brighten it up in here. Probably some nice bright white paints. And yeah, make this a, a just a welcoming entryway. Don't mind the trash. We got closets right here, nothing special. And right when you walk in, you drop down to the this little living room area. Nice fireplace. Once again, extremely outdated. I want to do some amazing DIY work over here just to really liven up and make this the focal natural wood here but we definitely want to brighten it up we have beautiful a beautiful I don't know what this is called <laughs> window that kind of projects outward like a what, what would you call this outward projecting window <laughs> there's carpet in here not a fan I'm not a fan we definitely want to rip that up and just do something different. All right, then you jump up here. This is a dining room area. This house is a, a lot different than what we're used to. So we're used to a very new open concept. This house is definitely not open concept, but we wanna bring a little bit of that like modern open concept with also having like rooms that are designated with walls that, you know, kind of block. So to do that, we want to we wanna knock this wall down eventually and open up the kitchen. This kitchen is a lot smaller than my previous kitchen, which is absolutely fine because we get a lot more living space in this house because this house is bigger than our old house. But as you, yes, honey, what's up? So here's our extremely old kitchen with our extremely old appliances. I actually really love these. They're so vintage. They are such a vibe and I actually really, really, really like it. But when you open it up, you see how small it is. Like this is my hand. Like you can't even fit a regular size like baking sheet cookie tray in here. So we definitely want to completely renovate do a full renovation in the kitchen, get some new appliances, open this up, and just have a clean slate, you know? But for now, check this out. We're gonna be working with until that time comes. Remember, we talked about the ladybugs, right? So there's still some ladybugs in there that we have not yet gotten to, but they're stuck. One is alive, I saw it moving. But yeah, I don't know what is up with the ladybugs in this place, but we need to get that underway before we actually move in and sleep. Like we haven't slept here yet and I refuse until these ladybugs have been dealt with. <laughs> so dining room, this will be eventually become one 
combined area. Down the hallway, we got got laundry area over here, another closet, a door that goes out into the backyard. Bathroom in here, nothing special. This is a half bath. Right here we got the door to the basement. We'll show you that after. Door to the garage, another closet. And then in here is another family room, living room area. I think they maybe had it a dining room because this thing is very low. It rises up. Push it up. It just doesn't stand anymore. <laughs> Will you feel me? That was like the, the swag. Another sliding door. I don't think I mentioned the other one in the dining room area, but there's two sliding doors that go out to the backyard. These need to be replaced because they are so ancient and just not cute. This right here, this window looks out to the side of the house and I love that these trees are right here, even though it is a little scary because they're so close to the house, but I can't wait for the snow to settle on the the branches and it just looks so beautiful and this is going to be such a beautiful view can't wait all right let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go let's use the lighting in this area like i said it is very very dark this wood just does not help and then there's no windows so it's just very dark right here but heading upstairs oh, here we go. where are the lights where are the lights all of the lights all right, so this is the loft area. This is way bigger than our previous loft. And this is gonna be the girls' playroom. They are gonna love it. So much space to play. This wallpaper is going to exit stage left very soon. Probably paint the baseboards white and, not probably, <laughs> paint the baseboards white and maybe leave the, the door trims that natural color. Haven't decided yet, but. We just have a lot of plans with this house. There's popcorn ceiling everywhere. I am not a fan, but it, it also isn't like driving me too crazy. But in certain areas, we want to get rid of it. This right here is also in their playroom. It makes me very nervous because this is like almost knee, knee high and it goes over over there to the front door very dangerous come on get away from this area eventually we want to block this off somehow so this is the master we got the view of the backyard right here which is beautiful so the bathroom we definitely downgraded our bathroom which no biggie um quality of life is going to be way better so to both of us it was it was worth it because at the end of the day we don't live in the bathroom closet all right so we got bathroom here girls bathroom closet here we actually have a good amount of closets mm -hmm. i'm actually very happy about that one of the girls bedrooms here last bedroom right here you want me to record you doing this <laughs> no you're wrong yes they do come on here you go. Why? You scared? Yeah. I am actually. Jeremy's gonna take over the basement. Because she's scared. I'm not scared. I'm just scared. We just haven't cleaned yet. Alright, this right here is the basement. This is uh, basically where it's gonna be our space. You know, shiny some my space. My space. We're not really sure yet if we wanna make this our our gym slash office slash kicking spot. Nice size space. I'll say this is probably like a good man, what? 25 by 20 or something, 20 by 20, 30 by 30. I mean, it's pretty spacious. Brand new carpet, drywall, ceilings, a lot of lighting in here, I love that. I'm gonna put my big 75 inch TV down here. Right on this wall right here? Yeah, I might have to go bigger though, man. I might have to go, make <sighs> projector vibes again? No. Ah, projector vibes. No projector. And then over here is the other extension of the basement. Yeah, see there's This is the creepy crawly side that Shiny's don't like to mess with yet. Yeah, I ain't going in there. Jeremy needs to clean in there. And this right here is the other part of the basement that's unfinished. Eventually we'll probably finish it off. 
probably put some shoveling down there for Shanice to do her canning, our uh, water heating tank, you know, all of our mechanics of the house is down here. And then this door right here actually leads to the backyard, so pretty dope, pretty dope. Got big plans for this house. All right, let's go outside and uh, show you guys our backyard. So we are outside Girl, my on is inside out. <laughs> the biggest reason we moved to have some land. It's some land. funny because we we wanted one acre at least and God blessed us with more and I am very, very grateful for that. This is our property. We got some trees back there. We got a ton more trees back there. And we're not gonna walk the whole property just because we don't wanna leave the girls in the house alone. We have a nice deck right there that is gonna be really lovely to enjoy in the summertime. And do you guys hear the roosters? <laughs> we have neighbors with the roosters. Roosters and probably about 20 some chickens. Like they have a good like quarter acre area of just like their chickens to like free range, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So dope. Goals for rail. My husband's all the way over there and he's still in our backyard. What a beautiful thing. Let me show you guys the side. Cause we have, we pretty much have like a road that leads to the back of our lot. Going all the way up there, all the way down. Eventually we want to get rid of a lot of these trees so that we have more land to work with. Isn't that right, honey? That's right. I'm gonna go inside because they were calling me already. So Jeremy is currently upstairs shampooing the carpet, like in the bedrooms and stuff. And I was with the girls, Jade and Seda wanted to watch their iPads. So I let them watch their iPads just to be content. And then Gia was just kind of wanting to be held. She kept crying and whining and she was just not happy. And so I just took a moment to like stop what I was doing. And I picked her up, was holding her um, and she was just so like fidgety and whiny even when I was holding her like I could tell she was uncomfortable and like something was not right and so I had mentioned to Jeremy I was like I don't feel like she feels good you know and so I ended up uh, having Jeremy blow up the the air mattress and I just laid on it with Gia I thought maybe she was sleeping and she wanted to take a nap so we're just laying there and she's kind of chilling out and she's finally like content and fine and so a few minutes go by and she ends up getting off the air mattress and she like goes right over to Seda and she looks at her iPad and just starts projectile vomiting everywhere. Like there was like three different sessions of like vomit just, uh, it was like, it was so much. And I noticed that I saw her breakfast in there that she had this morning and like let me remind you that we are not settled we still don't have our stuff our trailer has not delivered all of our belongings yet so we don't have anything i don't have like cooking like i don't have cookware i don't have utensils like we just have like the easy go-to snacks and we've been eating out left and right and i've been giving gia pouches and just a lot of snacks and like we've given her like these instant oatmeal things from purely elizabeth and so her diet is not normal right now. And it's same for Jade and Seda. Like we are not eating what we normally eat. And a lot of it has been like very crappy stuff. And so I don't know what upset her stomach. I don't know what the issue was, but oh my gosh. Like <laughs> I don't even want to show it because it's gross, but there's this huge pile on the carpet that Jeremy just shampooed yesterday. 
and our shampooer is due back at nine o'clock and it is currently it has to be like eight something at this point or else we're gonna be charged for you know another day so he needs to come back down here and shampoo what she just threw up <laughs> oh my gosh it's been I'm not even gonna complain because I'm so grateful that we don't have anywhere to be but home you know so that is all great but it has been challenging just to try to get done the stuff that we want to get done with the girls just being all in the mix and always wanting something and always wanting us and you know i mean we moved all the way out here to ohio with no family and friends so we don't have help you know so that part has been a little challenging but we are trying to not be so like consumed with trying to get so much done in this house because me and jeremy are both that way we just want to get stuff done we really do but i'm gonna go back to the girls and see how they're doing i think gia is fine right now but she was like crying non-stop after she threw up i don't know if she was crying because she was so shocked at what just happened and it felt weird and different i don't know but i'm gonna go check on them and see what they are doing you guys want the light on You guys okay? Gia, you okay? Gia, you okay? She seems to be fine now. There's the accident. Give me a second. Don't be free. 